This is Seth David for SchoolofBookkeeping.com bringing to you another answer. This time we're talking about how to run an uncleared checks report in QuickBooks. So we're looking at how to um, cut up the checking account and filter it down to, in this case I'm responding to a question that came in from our accountants, bookkeepers, and business owners community uh, right here on Facebook. And if you want to go there, it's facebook.com slash group slash accountants, bookkeepers, business. And uh, you can get in here, and the, the question was asked, uh, Missy's asking us actually, uh, if I can get my scroll to hold still. Um, she wants to uh, get a report that shows a list of outstanding checks uh, in a report format, not just through the reconcile screen. And uh, later on, she clarifies that she would like to only have checks showing uh, with a running balance. So when, when we want to have a running balance, you really need to run the report from the balance sheet and then double click the account. That gives you this uh, trailing balance going in. And then what we want to do is customize the report. And for starters, let's just get it to show only uncleared items, right? Only items that haven't cleared yet. So in the filters, we go to cleared and we say no. We want only things that have not cleared. And if I click OK, it gives me this list. But I've got all kinds of things in here. I've got payroll, liability, checks, and things. Um, and she says checks, but I'm not 100% clear if, uh, if it's just straight, straight checks with a check number or, or if these should be included. So just in case, we're going to do a couple more things to get this report sort of uh, chiseled down further. And you'll notice, of course, that in this cleared column, uh, nothing is checked off. So let's go back to customize. And we're going to do a few things. First of all, we're going to get it into a single column because if we're only looking at checks, then I don't need debit and credit here. I can deal with just a single amount column and, of course, the balance. Then let's go to filters and let's go to transaction type. And over here we want to do multiple transaction types. I want checks, right? I don't want deposits, invoices, sales receipts. Put a payment in there because I'm honestly not sure. I forget what exactly what kind of payment they're talking about. It might be a customer payment. won't matter if it is. Um, then we want, uh, where is it, a bill payment, because that's really a check also that just happened to be a check that was used to pay a bill. Uh, payroll liability check, I'll check that off, assuming that that is what you want. If, if it's not something that you want, then just don't check it off. But here we're handpicking the types of transactions that we want appearing on this report. We might even want a liability adjustment for that matter. And then I can click OK and OK. And what I get is a report that shows me only checks. It's now consolidated into a single amount column. I've got my uh, running balance here. But the only thing I want to make sure is sort of clear is what this also does is it shows the balance going in because this is being run based on the balance sheet period that I started this report from. So what you may want to do is change this date range to all. So this way it just shows everything. This is everything that's uncleared, but only checks or the various forms of payments that I indicated when I went through the uh, customized dialog. So that's how you can get the report chiseled down to um, something very specific like this. As always, if you have any questions, visit our answers forum at schoolofbookkeeping.com forward slash answers. And uh, we love to get your questions in here, and I love to make videos uh, by way of responding to those questions. So uh, get your questions up. We'll get the answers up usually within 24 hours. Sometimes it might take a little longer if we get a little backlogged with questions and requests. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.